Hey guys, these tires are up for grabs. BF Goodrich Crawlers from ProLine. Subscribe to the channel, write me a comment why you need these tires and I will put you in the final draw. Now let's get back into today's video. Hey guys, on this week's show, the ProLine FJ40 Land Cruiser is getting some updates. So we've got original brackets from the TRX4 Sport. We have 3D printed accessories and we're going to try and mangle them all together to make them fit. So come closer. There's no social distancing here. So on the left side, we have most of the original TRX4 brackets that we need to hook up to the chassis in order to actually get bumpers adjusted and installed. Then we have some mud guards for the rear, which are 3D printed. We have a original 3D printed bumper for the, for the back as well. Then we have some rock sliders that come in on the side like this. And we have obviously a roof rack i like to install roof racks on my rock crawlers because they protect the body on rollovers then i have another set of boat-sided rock sliders these boat-sided rock sliders have they're not square they have a little bit of an edge to make it yeah it'll give you a little bit more height when you're going over obstacles so i have these as well because these have to slide in underneath the body and they get mounted to the rock sliders. Now the rock sliders that I have got on here are for the blazer. So I don't know if I want to chop these up. So I've printed a second set that I can maybe just cut and maybe do a little bit of drilling on so that I don't destroy the rock sliders for the blazer in case I need to swap the bodies. So I'm going to begin with something simple. We're going to install the roof rack. And then we're going to get down to all of the other little things because I don't really know how to mount most of them. This will just be a learning curve as we go. Why don't we just stick the ProLine sticker on? That's straight. Doesn't look very really straight. No, it is quite straight. <laughs> there we go. Doesn't that look professional? <laughs> okay, let's do the easy stuff first. So all our stuff is 3D printed from Thingiverse.com. Check out Thingiverse.com. Just type in whatever project you're working on and you will get loads and loads of accessories or little clips that you can be using for builds or anything that you actually can think of. So just type in the search bar what you're looking for and it will show you a hundred of different things. I mean, it's a really, really nice website. So I have now positioned this where I want it, this is actually from a smaller scale car. I'm not too sure if it was a 2124 or something like that. So I've scaled it up a little bit to fit the width of the car. And I don't want to put it too far forward. I actually want it to line up with the curve of the roof. So it's not like hanging in the air. I want to line it up so that it kind of sits in the center of the roof. I'm going to be using this little pin just to mark my drill points so that I don't slip and damage the roof. So what I do is I pierce through, then I line up the roof rack again take a tiny little screw so that the roof rack is positioned so once i've positioned the roof rack with this little screw 
it's no there's no possibility of the roof rack moving while i try and position the second hole so there's a little trick that i do not that i'm swinging around or, or moving things around while i am actually trying to get my second hole in as perfect as i can so now with a screw i've anchored the roof rack so that it cannot move as much anymore and now i can just reposition it make sure that i'm happy with where it sits and position my second hole Perfect. So now that I've got my two center screws in, I can now go ahead and pierce the rest of the holes. So next step, I'm going to glue on the fenders. Got to leave a little ridge so that ridge can go into the rock slider. That's why they're sitting a little bit higher than flush with the body. So I'm lining up the top of the fender to be parallel with the line of the body. And now coming to the rock sliders, normally the rock sliders get positioned on the body. But this rock slider has a little bit of a lip. Either it can sit there, which kind of gives me a problem because then the body doesn't fit into the ridge. So I'm thinking for more integrity and strength, I'm going to mount it on the bottom side instead of the top side of the both sided rock slider. Just got to trim a little bit off this edge to make it fit to the fender. And then I'm going to mount it from the bottom, also giving me that both sided angle. So they're not sitting straight, they're actually running with the both side or with the angle of the boat side. I've just shaved that little lip off, changed the angle a little bit so that it tucks in nicely underneath the fender or next to the fender actually. <laughs> So this bumper I used somewhere down the line on the TRX4 original pickup body version. And because I have this weight box over here, I'm going to mount it directly onto the weight box. So kind of in that area. So there's just enough space between the weight box and the bumper for the body to slide into. And now coming to the 3D printed bumper that I also 3D printed down from thingiverse.com. This one kind of tucks in underneath the body or halfway underneath the body. So I have the original bracket from the TRX4, which I'm gonna slide back into the frame then this bracket is actually from the front bumper also from the trx4 sport and that kind of fits perfectly onto that bracket so i can screw that in there and that way i can adjust the bumper in the depth so i'm going to slide this in here all the way Let's see if that looks kind of okay. Maybe a little bit further. 
and that's kind of where the bumper will be sitting. So I will be using the original brackets from the TRX4 and this bracket here is actually out of the original front bumper. So using just the inner bracket, sliding the inner bracket in there and mounting the new 3D printed plastic bumper onto that so that it is adjustable. And the original, that is, this bumper actually almost sits flush with the body. So I'm just going to let it stick out just a little bit. About there. And these are the original screws. Just going to tighten them down. There we go. And that is going to slide in there. And now we just have to find the spot where we can... Well, that's almost perfect. <laughs> there we go. So that's where the body sits. Let me just check everything. further in and that's about right there's obviously not a hole in that area so I'm just gonna make one with the pin quickly and I'm gonna use self self tapping three millimeter Now to secure everything, I am going to drill with a, what is it, a two millimeter, actually a 1.5. I'm going to drill right through. And the same space over here. Just using my caliber to get the distance right. I'm going to take two, three millimeter, or I think they're actually 2.5 millimeter self tapping screws. Okay, that's nice and tight. And now just to tighten the rock sliders, I'm going to do the same. I can't get in there with the drilling machine, so I'm just going to take the wheel off quickly. Always hand tightened. So that looks quite tight and neat. Building a scale crawler is obviously always a lot of fun. But finding those scale details is really, really a cool thing to have a 3D printer. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> just stole my wife's lazy Susan so I can present the car <laughs> and she'll never find out she doesn't watch my videos <laughs>
Dun, dun, dun. Ha, 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 ha. Isn't that the coolest little FJ40 Land Cruiser little scale truck finished up with some 3D printed parts? It's just a business, guys. Building a two scale crawler is always a lot of fun or just any scale RC car. And with the 3D printed parts, this car just pops. I love the fenders. I love the little rock sliders on the sides. Get a bit of angle on that. Coming up to the roof rack. Roof rack looks really good. And the rear bumper. Maybe missing some lights. Whoops, lazy Susan. Hang on a second. Went a little far there. Maybe we could add some lights in another video. And the front bumper is looking good. Yes, it's more modern, not from the car's era, with a winch dummy. <laughs> Dumb dummy. <laughs> and that's it for me this week, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video on the scale build of the FJ40 Land Cruiser. Don't forget, we got the tires up for grabs, the crawler tires from Proline. Subscribe to the channel. Write me a comment what you need the tires for, and I will put you in the final draw. So that's it from me. See you next time. Bye.